One of the most popular, most commonly used SharePoint workflows is the approval workflow. Imagine this, somebody submits a document to one of your document libraries and right away you want to have emails sent out to a group of people, whoever they are, and a task assigned to them that's kept track within SharePoint asking them to approve, reject, or request changes on the document that was just submitted to the library. This is the approval workflow. I'm going to walk you through the steps. It's pretty straightforward, but I'm going to walk you through the steps on how you can create an approval workflow inside of one of your document libraries. Take a look. So first step, we need to decide which library we want to create the workflow for. In my case, I'm going to go into my training docs library. I'll open that one up. Let's take just a moment. Once I'm in the library that I've chosen, I'm now going to go into the library settings. So I'll go up to the library tab, top of my screen. On the far right, I got a section called workflow settings. I'm going to give that a click. I'm actually clicking on the lower half of this button and I'm going to go into add a workflow. I'll give that a click. Give it just a moment to work on it there, refresh the page. Now inside of the add a workflow interface, there's actually a couple different steps that we're going to perform here. The first one, we get to select from the installed or activated workflows. So I like to do the approval workflow. With that one selected, I can see there's a short little description down below as to what this workflow does. Routes a document for approval. Approvers can approve or reject the document, reassign the approval task, or request changes to the document. And you can see that there's a few other workflows in here that are active inside this environment. When you get into your own environment, you might find that you have more options. You might see that you have less options. Just depends on what's been activated within your particular SharePoint environment. So I've got approval selected there. I'm going to scroll down. I now get to give this workflow a name. So you may end up having multiple approval workflows. So you want to think a little more descriptive about what this workflow does. But for me right now, just demonstration, uh, I'm going to keep it generic. I'm just going to call this uh, training doc approval. Now again, you, you want to think about what you name it because ultimately this is what you're going to see when you go looking for the history on each of the workflows that have been run with this particular workflow. Uh, we're actually going to get a column inside the library named after this workflow that shows you the current status of that workflow for the respective document. Now that's, that's one step there, give it a name. Next thing is the approval workflow, much like all the other workflows, are going to create tasks. Remember, somebody submits a document to the library, it sends out an email to a group of people, whoever you specify as approvers, and they get tasks assigned to them. Now it's just asking us, where do we, where do we want to keep track of these tasks? Now I've never created a workflow before in this site, so my only option at this point is to create a new task list. That's great. So I'll leave it as such. I also get to create a history list. This is perhaps one of my favorite features involved inside of a workflow because the history list is going to show you the play by play, the step by step that the workflow has gone through. Now, once again, I haven't created a workflow in this environment, so my only option is to create a new one. So I keep scrolling down here and now I get to tell it what's going to start or activate the workflow. Default, the workflow can be started manually. Great. Um, I, I'm also going to turn on the option for uh, when a new item is created. Creating a new item will start this workflow. So I'll activate that one. Ding. All right. So a few little steps. And this is just kind of the preliminary setup for the approval workflow. What are you going to call it? Where are you going to store the tasks in the history list? And what's actually going to activate or start the workflow? All right. Now I'm going to hit next. And now I'm going to get into the nitty gritty, the really the properties of this particular workflow. Okay, this one called training docs approval. So my first step, I get to pick who I'm assigning as approvers. Now inside of my environment, I'm the only one here. So I'm just going to put myself in here. I'll find Kyle Pugh. And I'm going to hit the little person over here. This is kind of like the check names button inside of your email application. I'll give it just a moment. Okay, if it underlined it, we're all good to go. 
And if you got a red underlined underneath there, it couldn't find that person. You can also use a little address book off there, off to the right to be able to find people as well. So again, I'm assigning myself as an approver. Now I want to point out here in a little bit when, when we go over how to run the workflow and go through the steps, you're going to see that I run it. So I'm going to get an email and just letting me know that the workflow started and I'm going to get another email letting me know that I am an approver with a task on this workflow. So we'll see that here in a little bit. Now you can assign multiple people and if you do that, you just separate in my commas and you'll notice on the right, if you do multiple people as approvers, there's two ways that you can run the kind of the, the flow of this workflow. I can do it one at a time. This is called serial. So if I do add multiple people, each person gets their task one at a time. So if I've got myself in here and I've got Charlene in here and I've got Nathan in here, then I would get it first. I would complete my task and then it would move to Charlene and Charlene would do her task and so on. And then Nathan and then Jocelyn and so on one at a time. Now, if you want to make it more of a free for all where everybody gets their tasks and email at the same time, then I also have an option for all at once or parallel. Okay, so you decide, it kind of depends on your process. How do you want to work the flow in here? Now I'm only person, so I'll say one at a time. Uh, if you do groups, there's some properties or, or options here for groups. I can put in a customized message that'll be sent to these people. I can set up a due date for the task to get assigned or perhaps a duration, like three days or five days or weeks or months. And I can set that up here if you want to do that. These are optional. Don't have to take advantage of it. You can also CC somebody. Perhaps there's a project lead or the developer of the document that's being approved that wants to be CC'd on this. Now, there's some additional options here. I can end on the first rejection. So if one person rejects the document, then let's stop the workflow. Okay? But once again, optional. You decide what's your process. End on document change. This is a tricky one. You send out a workflow, a document to be approved. Meanwhile, as that process is going, somebody slips into the back and edits the document. Some people have already approved it. Other people are still sitting on their hands. They haven't approved it yet, but somebody just changed the document. So now there's a difference between what will now be approved and what was already approved. So once again, you get to decide and I can also enable the content approval. So once it's gone through, everybody's approved it. We can flip the switch and say, yep, document's been approved. Let's move it on to the next stage. So all options for you, you do want to make sure you set up somebody, you know, at least one person as an approver, but everything else optional. You decide what you want to do here. I'm going to go ahead and save it. So I'll just leave everything default. Give it just a moment here to build that workflow. And here we are. I've got my new workflow there, training doc approval. So really simple. It's a template. I've just built my approval workflow. So try this out. If you've got a site, you've got a library out there, get in, create an approval workflow, go through the steps, just get a feel for it, make something up even. And then we're going to take a look at running this workflow. But first, go ahead and create one.